Welcome to People's Couch. I'm Stephanie McKenzie, and you can see that Michelle is not here. She's at a different location. Apparently, we've gone global. I'm nice. not really sure about that. So today, I'm going to let you two introduce yourself. Sure, sure. I'm Tyler King. I'm the Executive Director for Downtown Washington, Inc. And I am Samantha Adams, and I'm the event coordinator. Love it. So, do you go by Samantha? Do you go by Sam? I go by Sam or Sammy. Okay. Typically. All right. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, Sam is going to have to deal with me a lot because I love to bother people at downtown Inc. So we love you though. I know. Thanks. <laughs> That's because I also make them drink, <laughs> and that makes them like me more. It's very true. <laughs> So we wanted to come down today just one for individuals who don't know what Downtown Inc. is, what do you do, what events will be coming up. Um, we know that Sam has a new role here. Yes. So, you know, just kind of all the good things. Yeah, so Downtown Washington Inc. is a nonprofit. Um, we are here really to help the mom and pops, the small businesses thrive uh, through economic prosperity. Uh, we do a lot of promotion through the downtown district, promoting not only the businesses, but the district as a whole. Um, and we put on really, really good events. They do. Yeah. They so, are awesome. So I've been involved with the organization uh, for about eight years. I was on the board and volunteer for about three to four years. And then I've been director for about four and a half years. So I've been around for just a little bit now. Yeah. Yeah. Poor Tyler has to uh, put up with really, uh, you know. All of it. All of it. All the fun stuff. <laughs> Literally all the fun Everything. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and so now Sam's role is going to be. Yeah, yeah. I'll let her explain. Yeah, go for yeah, it. So I'm going to be coordinator, so I'm just coordinating all the events that we have throughout the year, okay. which is a lot, but we're in the really, we're in the thick of it right now as far as like the planning stages go. But yeah, we have an event coming up in about two weeks, March 1st. And that's going to be? It is Dancing Through the Decades. That's right. Yeah. So apparently I'm supposed to be getting my tickets for that because I have a lot of girlfriends going yeah. and they're like, Get we've got to do this. So yes. Yeah. So no, 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 that'll be fun. So kind of give us just a little snippet on that. Yeah. So it is a 80s themed dance. We have that 80s band. Yes. Which everybody seems to love. They are an amazing band. Yeah. So we have them it goes from 6 till 10 okay March 1st it's a Friday and then there's gonna be a cash bar there will be food available we have a um, best dress contest okay. we have the I'll probably win that. you probably, yeah. Will. probably will yeah I mean I'm gonna get my warmers. original leg warmers so I'm showing my age <laughs> wait till you see my jumps oh, God. Pretty legit. I can't wait <laughs> yeah it's gonna be really fun we have like a special performance the starry nights are gonna do like oh, okay yeah like during our the breaking bands. news yeah, yeah, the yeah. Bands. yeah. yeah. for the van's intermission i love it yeah, so that does, really that does sound exciting yeah. so i can't wait no we've we do actually have a big group going but i'm always like you know i'm always last to get everything done yeah, so <laughs> well tickets are on sale now 25 dollars yeah. a piece 30 at the door okay uh we'll do up to 300 tickets awesome and we're about halfway there okay. so we'll see what happens all right so what other events do you have coming up i mean obviously you know i'm sunset on the riverfront committee so i know about those events yeah. but yeah you know so what else do you all have going on beyond the sunsets we have our other big event it's called barbecue and blues fest yes. so that's going to be coming up in the end of april okay and yeah that's a huge event for downtown washington inc it draws mm -hmm. in a ton of people from all over um, we have a bunch of live blues music we have a ton of barbecue food vendors this year right. and we'll have street vendors it's going to be a really good three-day event it's always a good time yeah, yeah. some more breaking news too with that event we've actually removed the barbecue competition oh okay uh, so we're not having kcbs here to do the competition anymore so okay. we're doing some new fun things mm -hmm. uh, we're going to have a brew fest in a sense what, yeah what are you calling it? yeah it's barbecue and brews that'll be friday evening which i um, it always goes over really well yeah, yeah so I, so we're doing that and then uh, Saturday we have the whiskey walk which they've done a few years now okay mm -hmm. um, it's where different distilleries pair up with different local merchants downtown and then they're like they sit in there and sell their products and okay. samples and everything so it really draws people to like visit all these that's a great cool idea little spots that yep. we have I love and, that and then we also have 
uh, Pedro's on Saturday. That's oh. going to be like a ticketed event. Okay. VIP. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, brand new for yes. this year. Yeah, that is. That's a lot going on. Yep. So I'm excited. Yeah. 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 Well, no, that is great. I do normally, uh, especially for like the blues bands and everything. Um, there's I always have a few of my favorites. Yes. That, oh, yeah. That'll come through. I had a buddy of mine, uh, Jared Ketterman, who I met in Nashville, who actually reached out to me, and he was like, "Hey." I'm actually kind of liking some of the people that I know that are going to be playing there. He goes, I may actually have to fly in for I this. Like it. So yeah, yeah, so yeah, Very cool. but it's, oh, it's getting everywhere. I know, <laughs> yeah. I know. And then beyond that, besides that event, our next one is going to be the Art Fair Morning Fest, which is our other huge event that we do yes. downtown. Yeah. It is. It's yes. a good one. Very good. So, yeah. We always like our wine. Yeah. <laughs> We're wine connoisseurs. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. <laughs> or we'll tell ourselves we are. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and so, you know, I think for a lot of things, um, first, like if people wanted to come and talk to you in person, where where would they go to? Where What's the location address? Because sometimes I think people get a little confused with the chamber and downtown yeah. Yeah. and such and such. So yeah, We all kind of work together, which is mm -hmm. great. But uh, we are located in the downtown post office in Washington. Uh, 123 Lafayette Street is our address. So you're welcome to come by anytime. Uh, if you'd like to talk to Sam about getting involved with the events, she's available. Okay. Uh, we do recommend you call ahead of time if you'd like to set a time, an appointment to just make sure that we're here. Yeah. That's always beneficial. But um, if you just want to pop in, we're at the downtown post office and we're, we're happy to, to speak with you. If you'd like to get involved, whether that's through an event, if you want to be on an event committee, uh, we also have uh, different committees that work throughout the community. We have four point committees that focus on specific aspects within the downtown district uh, mm -hmm. that people like to get involved with that as well. So. Yeah, welcome to come by, call us, uh, visit our website at downtownwashmo.org. Shameless plug right there. I love that. Um, but there's also a lot of information on there as well, too. Well, and I think, too, so this very beautiful room that we're in, it's actually one of the conference, it's a conference room that you have within this building. Yes. So um, there's always people asking, well, I don't know where to go if I want to have a small meeting or whatever. People like me at the last minute who need Tyler's help <laughs> when I need a place. So, um can people actually use this space or rent it out? Or? Yeah, yeah. so we do rent the space out. It is free to our investors of the organization. So if you're an investor or business within the organization that has a membership with us, you're free to use the room. Uh, we do charge for it otherwise. So um, that is scheduled ahead of time. So you would just need to reach out to myself. That's uh, perfect. That. Yep. And it is, I mean, it actually is a really nice setting in here. Thank so, you, you know, um, but it, I think it gives people ideas to where to go if they need, yeah. you know, a space for a meeting committee, yes. a little conference, whatever you need. Yeah. So, yeah. but yeah. So what else? Anything else you want to throw at me? Oh man. I mean, besides something physical. So, you know. Yeah, we <laughs> No, we just have a lot going on right now. You know, this is our planning time of the year. Uh, we're really excited to get into our event season. Um, we have some cool projects that we're working on within the district. Uh, the city's comprehensive plan will hopefully start coming out in April. I know that's going to be voted on here pretty soon. So we're going to be tackling some projects uh, that's on the comp plan. You might hear the construction in the background. <laughs> uh, we have some road improvements being yeah. done on 2nd Street. And in the future, you'll also see Main and Front Street done. But that's, that's a few years down the road. Yeah. Um, and then there's some really cool infill development that's going to be happening too without the course of the year. So we're uh, we're rocking and rolling downtown. We have you guys a lot are of moving and shaking. Yes, so. and businesses are are thriving down here. Yes, they are. Um, we always say January February is typically a slow time of year. So if you're able to get out and about and support the small businesses, they very much appreciate that. And uh, yeah, come on down if you haven't been down in a while. There's a lot of fun things to do. No, I love it. Well. I love this. Obviously, I'm a Washingtonian, so of course, you know, born, born and bred, I know. It's That's like right. freaks some people out when they hear that. Um, but, you know, there are, downtown Washington just, I mean, it looks beautiful. There's really no empty businesses oh. down here, which I love. Um, and the new, the businesses that are here are building up, building out, doing new things. So, yeah. I think it's very exciting yeah, so yeah, well I appreciate your time because God you knows I had to reschedule a few times that's so okay. you know, thank you for being accommodating we, we love having you <laughs> so all right well next time we will see you all have a great day bye, bye. thanks bye. thank you